sea bridge is not only limited to bridges. It includes other advanced tools like Zsphere, Zsketch, and Zizu tool. These are so advanced and powerful that you can literally make anything out of it. So let's see in chapter five how we can work with these tools. S is for sphere. No, Z is for Zsphere. S is for sketch. No, Z is for Z sketch. Z is for zoo. No. What? Were you going to say Z is for Zizu? Yes. So let's start with our uh, new chapter over here, which is about the Z sphere, Z zoo, and Z sketch. So let's see uh, what are the Z sphere. So there are lots of ways to start creating new digital sculptures, but Z sphere is one of the more unique to ZBrush. It's like making a simple skeleton, but first you can pose and adjust easily before locking it into a mesh. So let's take a look. So I will start a fresh uh, ZBrush file over here. And what I need to do is that I just have to click uh, any one of these uh, like uh, sub tools here. Okay. And once I have a click, you will see you have this uh, shelf and where we have this Z sphere. So go ahead and click on the Z sphere. Now, once we will click it uh, and we will go to the uh, upper sub tools and you will see the Z sphere is here. So I will just draw that, uh, draw, draw this on, on my uh, screen here. Okay. And I will press shift key while dragging this here. And the shift key, what it will do, it will snap it uh, to a horizontal uh, orthographic location. And once I'm done, I will leave with this. And after that, I will start making the, uh, you know, uh, like uh, legs and other parts uh, on it. So this is the basic building blocks of ZBrush. Sorry. Uh, like z-spheres and we are going to create more z-spheres and they'll be changed together to create an armature or a skeleton now as i hover my mouse over here so you will see that it is showing me a, a green sort of a uh, like a circle over here so what this tells me is that it will create a like um a, like a sort of a uh, secondary Z sphere out of it, which can be a part of an object or part of a chip or your, you can say, organic model if you're making a creature or, or like a or like a human being or a cartoon character, whatever you are doing. At this stage, I will press X on my keyboard so I can have a symmetry on. So this will help me, and I can move around here. So I think just by mistake, I just click there. I'm looking into that. So uh also it works with the uh size of your brush so i will make my brush a little bit bigger so here what i'm going to do is that i will start making uh like you can say a skeleton over here or a basic model of a character okay and i will start with the center gravity point which Basically, our pelvis, if we talk about the characters, the pelvis is the center of the gravity. So this can be a uh, like a pelvis and I can start with uh, the hips and then I can uh, create thighs and everything out of it. So let's zoom in a bit here so I can you can see clearly what I'm doing here. So at this stage, I will go at this part. OK, and this will be my. You can say uh, like a side view. So what I will do here is that I will just go to the quarter view here, and then I will create a small uh, like part here, and this can be my uh, hip. Okay. Now what I can do here is that I can create another one over here, and that can be my thigh. So I can create one more. And you can see a thigh has been created here. Now, uh, this can be my uh, 
heel of my uh, leg. So obviously, like a heel cannot be like you know attached to the hip; it is too high. So uh, I can go to my move tool. I will press W, and I can take this one and move it down. And you can see the one that I created here is kind of moving down, and I will move it down where I think uh, it's better to keep the uh, heel. Okay, so I'll make a cartoon character so it doesn't matter, and maybe some of these I can move it up. Like suppose this one, I will move this one a little bit upward here. Now I have heel, but what I'm missing right now is the knee. So to create a knee, I can go back to my drawing mode and click on any one of this. Uh, you can say the length, of the bone. Uh, here or the collection of the Z sphere, and once I click on it, that will become a Z sphere. So this Z sphere is now basically the knee. So I can go back to my uh, W. I will press to go back to the uh, move mode, and then I can pull this one little bit outward, and you can see that I have a nice knee joint here. Now uh, I do have heel, but I don't have foot. So I can go back to my drawing mode over here. Okay, so you can press Q also on your keyboard uh, on your keyboard. So Q can bring you back to the drawing mode here. So now I will just go back and make the you can say a bit of a uh, like a feet. Okay, and then I can press W to pull this one outward. Okay, and I can go in the front. And move this here, then I can go to the side, make sure it is there. Now, if you think this is too big for a heel, so oh, sorry, uh, for a foot, so what you can do is that you can go to your scale mode. I will press S for my scale mode, sorry, E for my scale mode. Now I'm in the scale mode and I can reduce the size of this one. So this will become smaller, okay? And also I'll press W again for move and I can move it down or anywhere I want this one. Maybe a bit curve, like, like you know, slight position. I will get into it now. Back to the drawing mode, I will press Q on my keyboard. Now, ankle height is missing, so I can click on any one of these to convert them into ankle height. Now, this will become ankle. I can also move it by going to the move mode, okay, a bit back or forth, whatever you want. Also, I will press uh, here E to scale it down. If you want to scale this ankle, so I will just scale this down, okay. And maybe I will scale this one also down, okay. This uh, the knee, and make this one quite a little bigger, the heel. And that's I have something like this on my screen, and this one also I can make it a little bigger, make this bigger as well. And also the heel I can make a bit bigger. Sorry, the ankle a bit bigger. So now if you are satisfied, you can continue with this. Now I will go back to my drawing mode. And as you know, I'm inside my symmetry. So if I'll go here and I want to make a torso, which is coming out from the pelvis. So Right now, I cannot do from here because the also should be in the middle. And also, I'm in my, uh, you can say, like uh, symmetric mode. So if I will do from here, it will create another torso coming out here. So if I will go in the center, you can see it snaps to the center. That means the symmetry won't count over here. So if I will click here and then create a torso something here, okay, and then I will go back to my move tool and move it all the way. All the way up you can see that it will create this okay now I can go to side arrange this one okay now one thing is that if you think this is too big uh, the start of the torso you can uh, go to scaling mode and you can scale this down a bit over here and I can go back to my drawing mode and I can add uh, one C sphere here for the chest one these here here for maybe uh, for the abdomen so now I can uh, scale this down 
with the scale tool this one also slight i can scale it down and then this one i can or uh, move it with the move tool back and this one a little bit here this one also i can pull this back here okay now what else i can do here is that i can uh go and start making some uh new uh one over here like uh, suppose i want to create a uh hand so i can go click here one time okay and then other one if i press here so it will create a uh like a uh, you know uh like a uh, z sphere for where my arms can go and so i can press w here so if you want to move it around if you don't want it this point okay and then you can move this more much more but notice that if i'm moving it it is showing me this uh, uh this dash or dotted line here. that means it's overlapping so i can go uh in the scale mode and scale this one down a bit okay and this one a bit also and from here so i can scale this and also here it's better to scale this but i have to create i have to convert this into i will go in my drawing mode convert this into a leaves here and then i can make this smaller until i get rid of that okay so now uh it's fine here so and one thing is that suppose this does not look good over here so what i can do here i can uh, if i'm in my drawing mode i can simply press press alt on my keyboard and click on the sphere or you know any <clears throat> this uh stack of the spheres and it will remove that like suppose if i'll press alt on my keyboard press over here so it will remove that part okay but it will remove the whole thing so i don't want to remove the whole thing maybe a few of them so it's totally up to you what you want to remove from here okay so but in this my in my case i don't want to do that okay now what i want here is the neck so i will click any one of this here it will become a neck and then i can reduce the size of the neck okay and this can be a head so i can move this head a bit up here okay and move this one little bit backwards okay this one as well and the arm uh is missing uh you can say uh, uh let me go back to my uh, drawing mode is missing you can say elbow so i'll click anywhere to create an elbow okay once the elbow is there now i can go to move tool and move this around here okay and you know the way uh, you want to arrange it you can do that now the chest you can have it somewhere else also uh but i just have created here so it's totally up to you where you want it uh and that could be something uh it's up to you that you want to decide uh, that you want to do and if you want to increase the size of this one bigger or smaller it's also up to you what you want to do at this stage okay but i want to just keep it uh everything just like here so i can move this all until i get this one here and one more i can create for the shoulder i will go back to my drawing mode q convert any one of this to a z sphere and this can be act like a shoulder so this is basically my shoulder you can say and i have something here okay an extra one maybe suppose i want to add some extra but before doing that let me scale this one down go to q add one extra here this can be a spine or something so this extra extra one here is here so this one can also uh, act like uh, whatever uh, object you want to call this one it's like a uh, part this one maybe it's a spine or you know extra piece of something that you want to work on okay so here we have uh this uh, 
uh, like a stylized character over here. Okay, and you can go ahead and you can make more. Uh, you can make uh, fingers and everything here. So that can be uh, a glimpse complete, like a, a model over here. Now let's see about the rotation and see how, what does the rotation do over here. But before that, let me tell you one thing about the move tool. The move tool actually stretches out your Z bridges, just like you know, like your Z sphere, just like what it is doing right now. So don't uh, try to rotate any of these Z sphere with the move tool, okay? Because it will be stretching it out. So for actual rotation, you will be using the rotation. Okay, so I will press R on my keyboard to get that. And if I will click over here, and if I will try to move it, okay, so you can see uh, this is rotating uh, this uh, Z sphere here. But if I will click on this part and try to move it, so you can see that it is just rotating it. Okay, it's not stretching, it's just rotating. This is, you know, as we all expect what it will do. And this one can uh, invert outward depending on your uh, camera angle. Okay, so this one can rotate back and forth also. And this will avoid uh, all kind of, you can say, uh, you know, uh, stretching that the move tool do. So if you want to rotate, just to do use this one. Use uh, your required camera angles to uh, rotate this in and out. So it's totally up to you what you want to do with this uh, rotation. So I have this quite well and just don't click on the joints, it won't do anything to the joints. You just have to click on these bones and it will start rotating the bones. And this is basically, I have the corrector here, yeah, quite looks funny, okay. But this is uh, like, you know, with, uh, with this amount of time, this is what I can. Uh, create this fast for you all okay so go ahead and practice a bit for yourself you could go ahead and continue creating fingers and toes and nose and ears uh, but i'll let you handle that on your own it's basically the same steps we have already been doing so as you can see z spheres can be handy for all kind of branching structures for us uh, or for establishing the basic proportions of all kinds of creatures so it's a quite handy tool and it can be a good starting point for anything complicated you are making and i hope you have learned uh, from this uh, like lesson and i hope you are enjoying this course if you liked this video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet yet and uh, also click on the bell icon because i'm uploading uh, tutorials videos like short tutorials also sometimes i'm li doing live sessions so for all those notifications keep your uh, you know uh, notification uh, turned on for my channel and watch my all videos online so i can get more watch time hours which will help me to mod and motivate me uh, to create something you know more and more uh for your uh, like projects and other stuff so guys uh till we meet in the next class take care of yourself and goodbye